Number one, which of the following statements is true? A. To preserve the independence of both the CPD Council and the Professional Regulatory Board, no member of the Professional Regulatory Board shall concurrently serve as part of the CPD Council. B. The Executive Director of the CPD Council Secretariat shall be appointed by the Professional Regulatory Board. C. Any duly authorized director of the CCBI, the accredited professional organization for customs brokers, may serve as the first member of the CPD Council. Letter D. The PRC endorses for approval by the President an organization to represent the customs broker's profession. Number two, which of the following statements is true regarding the certificate of registration? A. It is issued by the Professional Regulatory Board. B. It is issued only after the applicant therefore has successfully passed the relevant licensure examination. C. It serves as evidence of authority of the holder to practice the profession. Letter D, all of the above. Number three, this term refers to what a learner can be expected to know, understand, and or demonstrate as a result of a learning through educational and or work experience. A, learning outcomes. B, lifelong learning c competencies d equivalencies number four a special meeting of the cpd council may be called by a member of the council upon notice at least blank prior to the said meeting a one day b three days c five days or d none of the above Number five, which and or who among the following is qualified to apply as CPD provider? A. Mr. Y, a former chairperson of the PRB who is applying for accreditation 11 months after the end of his term. B. Mr. X who is an incumbent member of the PRB. C. ABC Review Center Inc., one of the incorporators of which is the cousin of the member of the Professional Regulation Commission. D. None of the above.